If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that we sent it to you because you're having trouble with your track lighting. Well, we're going to make you an expert and we're going to do it very quickly here. So I'm going to get right to it. This is an H style track and I'm holding it here on end. I'm hoping you can see it. And the track is H style. It's a very common and it has bus bars in it. See the copper bus bars here. So on this side is the hot. Down below on the other side is the ground and above it is neutral. So your light fixture has to make contact with all three of those. So here's a light fixture right here. Now, forcing your light fixture the wrong direction into your track is a bad idea. On a number of tracks, we've actually taken a felt pen, especially on the white ones, we put an H where the hot is. That way, when we look at the light fixture, and you'll see here the similarities how these line up, where we have the hot bus bar, we have the pin on the fixture which is hot, we have the ground and the neutral. Taking the light fixture and putting it in the track wrong, like this, something is going to give and something is going to bend. Don't do that. Make sure you know that when you put your light fixture in the track, you're going to line everything up correctly. So on this fixture, I have to pull back this little shroud. See it going back and forth? I can make it squeak, squeak, squeak. Pull it back. We're going to put the light fixture in the track, and we're going to turn it so everything lines up here. I'm going to try to turn it way up here on the end so you can see. Now if you look down inside here, you'll see that all the pins hit their points. This is important. If the pins don't hit their points and don't make contact, your light fixture is not going to come on. Here, I'm going to see if I can bring this up even tighter to the end. Hopefully you can see that down inside there. So the hot is connected to the hot bus bar, the ground is hitting ground, and the neutral is hitting neutral. These bus bars are held in little plastic channels which are made to float inside your light fixture. This is the proper way to put a light fixture in. Not slide it in from the end like we did today, but actually you're going to put it in, pull the shroud back, and rotate the light fixture. Now, let's talk about just the pins on the light fixture, because this is important. Most all of our light fixtures are set up for dual circuit track. Well, what's dual circuit track? Dual circuit track, same as this track, HTL, has two hot on one side, the neutral and the ground on the other. So the light fixtures, though, don't need two hots. They only need one hot. So the way we achieve a dual circuit track setup is we make this pin adjustable. And you can take a pair of pliers and just gently pull the pin up right up here, a little bit more, there we go, and you can see I've moved the pin to its up position. Now it doesn't ship that way, you're going to move it if you're using dual circuit track. Now here's the problem, let's say it got moved there somehow, or it's halfway, or in between. Get a needle nose pliers, pull that pin in place for your track, either dual circuit or single circuit, You'll actually hear it click down. Here it is in the bottom position. And now the pin will line up correctly with your track. And you can always take the end of your track off, kind of see what's going on in there, and even take your light fixture and put it in. Don't put your finger in here. You'll get a nasty surprise. I know somebody who did that, and I could hear him yelling all the way upstairs. So very important that you know this, and very important that these pins hit their mark. And you can slightly tweak them or adjust them if someone's crammed it in there backwards. Um, they're pretty durable, but the best thing to do is don't put it in backwards. Know where the hot side of your track is, and know that when you take this light fixture and put it in the track and turn it, you know it's going to line up correctly. And again, Watch for this little shroud set up. Make sure you have it pulled all the way back before you're trying to turn the light fixture because it's actually made to lock the fixture in place. Don't let just any gorilla handle your light fixtures. And you, you invested money in them. And you want to keep them lasting for a long, long time. And if you do treat them nice, they will last you a very, very long time. We have fixtures out there that have been out there over 25 years and still working great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out all of our videos. If you have any questions, send them directly to support at totallightingsupply.com. Please do not send questions through YouTube because we don't usually see those right away. Um, our email, though, we see every five minutes, and that's the best way to get a hold of us. Take care. We are the Lighting Guys. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, 
light fixtures and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.